it's another tiktok saga guys like i keep saying it's something new every freaking day so this white woman she has decided that she's not going to sit idly by and watch a black man a nigerian man praise on black women love on black women she's not having it i don't know why we say it always provoke white women anytime we say a black guy they talk good about black women if a black guy they rate a black woman high it always provoke white women i don't know why normally i suppose i like the comment for up here but you don't quick the woman to block me one white woman just begin they harass me because say i mean for my previous video because say how they rate our black women high you know so because of that she just concludes say i know they respect white women but i don't talk about white women badly i don't talk say they're not they okay i only they rate our black queens you know i they rate them high but because of that, she just did provoked. Like, I don't understand. Say she did expect, say all black guys go must rate white women over our black queens. Me, I don't do for that one, no. I love my black queens, and uh, so it will be. You know? All day, every day, my black queens. Reacting to a video where she clearly does not have an idea of what is being said in the video. You know she doesn't understand what he is saying in the video, because she's laughing when obviously nothing is funny making weird facial expressions shock or surprise facial expressions when he did not say anything shocking or surprising she obviously just read what he had written above the video and then she probably made an assumption as to what she feels he's saying in the video and before we go deep down into today's topic we do have a sponsor for today's video and today's sponsor is custom jersey by f custom that's why i got this cute hoodie from at f custom you get 100 percent the best and highest quality jerseys and uniforms you can make customized design jerseys for your team friends and family there are different options from hoodies to t-shirts to different hats and sport jerseys you get to pick what color you want and how you want yours customized and branded for you and you don't have to worry about your location because they ship worldwide like literally delivered to your doorstep mm -hmm. and guess what fam shipping is free mad i'm in nigeria and i got my own jersey it's so cute i love it link to that website is going to be down below in the description you get 10 percent off when you use my discount code ivie anita that's i-v-i-e a-n-i-t-a at f custom you are the boss and you choose how things would go down so guys this is a paid promotion it's not part of my healthy small business promotions i do on here on the channel so please support me by supporting this brand okay and also thank you very much to f custom for sponsoring this video and i want to say a very big thank you to each and every one of you guys because i would not be here without you guys and i would not have these opportunities that i have right now i'm super 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 grateful you guys are the real mvps okay O'Shea Badass to each and every one of you. So he made his video in Pigeon English. That was why I took the time to create subtitles so you guys could understand 100% what he was talking about in his video. So she decided to duet his video, making funny faces, laughing, looking all, you know, I'm not going to say that word. I'm not because my mom said if you be respectful that is what is saving these people all up in his business when he was saying nothing wrong she speaks in the captions okay she says young man needs some help so when i saw the caption i was like need some help with once immediately i ran to the comment section and in the comment section it got very interesting okay and that's what we're going to be talking about today and in the comment section she took it to another level but before we go into the comment section i want us to take a quick look at this write-up she has above the duetted video where she wrote one white woman like please at classes needed asap insinuating that the guy was lying okay but then when we get into the comment section you see her doing exactly what the guy was saying in his video this comment said you should understand that this conclusion was made because he's probably had more than one experience on this he isn't criticizing any color or race she responded with a response that i personally don't understand and she says this brings division and that's all division from where well, let's go on if you go to people's house and misbehave, you need to be aware of the fact that they will get rid of you. It's simple. Or maybe she's referring to the fact that the guy lives in Germany, okay? Is that the people's house she's talking about? You need to be aware of the fact that they would get rid of you. It's simple. I don't know about you guys, but this is high key scary. If you go to people's house and you misbehave, like what is the misbehavior? 
you not being my preference is i don't know a crime it's a misbehavior now you need to be aware of the fact that they would get rid of you for what like they will get rid of him for what exactly it's giving me audacity and it's giving me horror movie as well that you are white and he's not into your whiteness that's something that they will get rid of someone for when you see comments like this guys i don't know i did not look at this surface value if a white man can come up to a very simple straightforward not insulting video like this and literally be threatening a black man telling him that he could be gotten rid of to me that's scary let me know down below what you think it's simple like it's simple it's going to be simple for you to get rid of him going to be simple for you to you know cause problem for him and get him behind bars i don't know implicate him with something but you guys need to tell me if i'm the only person that feels scared so let me get this straight so him saying black women are queens it's misbehavior and he can't do that because he's in germany and then the guy responded back and said i really don't understand this statement i mean neither do i but maybe you guys will how does this bring division he's saying what he experienced as well as his choice am i missing something and then she responded if you do something too much then one side will start feeling sad bad and unappreciated especially if you choose to do it in their space then again we are seeing the whole their space thing similar to the first comment she dropped about if you come to someone's house i think i want to say i'm very sure that she is referring to the fact that him being a black man in germany cannot do what he's doing like the entitlement for me she's sad and she feels bad and unappreciated because he's not saying white women are pretty too is that what this is about talk about someone shooting themselves in the brain now i guess it's not just one white woman huh because you are obviously one of the white women he was talking about so now can we talk about who actually needs art classes she cannot even keep up with her own charade like you were laughing and making funny faces in the video and then all of a sudden in the comment section we see a whole different you a you who is sad and feel bad and unappreciated like what's wrong with your art you need art classes a you who is so offended and is talking about how he should be careful because he could be gotten rid of when he said absolutely nothing bad against white women you know what forget art classes like therapy needed asap like how do you go from telling someone he's lying and putting up a weak art to you just literally outing yourself and proving his point for him for free coming under the guise of his dividing women when obviously this is a personal vendetta what she said or she said in the comment section for the good of all women she said or she said with the mindset of how dare he not include us and it's quite obvious by her comment that she doesn't care about every other group of women because in this comment she said then one side will start feeling sad bad and unappreciated she did not say then every other side would start feeling bad sad and unappreciated just look at this her comments what was his intention? Bring someone down to bring someone up. He is a joker. That's all I can say. Like, Alaya, if you have self-esteem issues, if you're looking for someone to tell you that you are a queen, you are beautiful, can you go and meet your mother? He did not even talk to you. He did not mention your name. And you are saying that he brought... Who did he bring down? Always when black people are talking about black people, then you see them come in the comments and you're like, they're, 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 what about us? What, what about us? Like, what about you? Like, the purpose we're all placed here on earth is to be kissing white butts. I don't understand. What about you exactly? Tell me, oh yeah. What about you? What about, what about, what about, can you go outside? If I open the door to planet Earth, I will throw you into space. She's triggered for no damn reason. And you can feel the pain in her comments. This is someone who is pained. She is pained because this black man is saying you and your category of women are not my preference. And she doesn't understand why. So to max the pain and confusion, She's using all these words of inclusivity and threats. White women, because they are so used to being the standard, they don't get it when someone comes out and say, no, you are not my standard. No, you are not my spec. No, I do not prefer you. Yes, maybe other people prefer you, but I don't. They do not know how to deal when people come out and say these things because they are so used to being the standard. Check out this video, guys. Everyone wants to be a drummer until...
what I mean? They can't deal. Notice how long she lingered for in surprise and confusion. Like how he rejected me? Like why? Like she could not believe her eyes. See her still standing there, embarrassing herself, smiling, still showing teeth in awe like I must be dreaming. Somebody wake me up. He didn't. Like this is a crime, is it not? How can you just walk up to someone, a stranger, and then you try to kiss them in public? like what the actual hell is going on here this is the type that out of shame if it's not caught on camera like it was now she can come back later and say he tried to do something to her and before you know it a brother is spending time in jail like <laughs> brothers man you guys need to be careful like careful so I went on her profile and I saw on her bio that she has written spiritual empowerment and positivity. Now I'm very confused. Is it very positive for you to be telling someone that they could be gotten rid of? Like, where is the positivity in that? And then I went on her Instagram and I saw that she posts like black people and she has like mixed kids. So conclusions drawn stand to be corrected later. She doesn't hate black people. I don't think she's racist. She doesn't have issues with black guys because obviously she could make a baby with a black guy. But then she cannot understand when just one black guy is coming out to say that you know white women are not his preference surface value when you check out her account when you go to her instagram for example she doesn't seem like a problematic person but then when i think of the video and then i think of how she was in the comment section how she was talking about the possibility of the guy being gotten rid of because he kept on going on and on about how black women are his preference that's problematic for me because i cannot see the positivity in someone being gotten rid of the guy on the other hand, I don't even know how or where to categorize him. Yes, he's praising and loving on black women and calling black women queens, of course, which is all good, no shame and blame in that. He doesn't come out to say that he hates white women or white women are less than black women because black women are his preference and all that. But he does have some videos up that could be considered problematic. Not because he came out and said that white women are not, you know, beautiful and not um, good enough or that they are less than black women. But because in some of his videos, they were like poor choice of words and some of them were poorly delivered as well. And a lot in the videos could be easily misconstrued and taken out of context. Let me know down below in the comment section what you think, okay? Um, if you haven't done it already, hit that like button, subscribe and I'll see you.